and welcome to this training on UiPath and UX. My name is Sylvain Boutier, I'm a UiPath Most Valuable Professional and the founder of My Little Bot. Today, we are going to build together a little bot that is going to work on G-Sheet. Are you ready? Let's do it! As you can see, I'm using a Google Form where people can register to one of my training sessions. What I like about G-Forms is that you get the responses in a G-Sheet. Here I just added a new row with a very basic formula that counts all the positive responses. I need to provide this number to the global learning department. They want to know every day how many participants are interested to joining one of the training sessions so that they can anticipate on the rooms and the number of seats uh, available in my trainings. So I'm going to build a very basic bot to do this. If I go to my UI path, my first step would be to tell the bot to go to the G sheet. So I'm going to start with the use girl spreadsheet activity. I will need to tell the bot to use my account and to go to this specific G sheet here. I have two options to do that. I could either browse for my G sheet and try to find it in the different folders that I have on my drive. This is not my favorite option because uh, if you have a lot of folders, it may be difficult to find exactly where your G sheet is. So I prefer using the ID of the spreadsheet. So I'm going to select the second option and I'm just going to copy the ID of my spreadsheet that I'm going to find the URL and I'm just going to paste it in the text builder here. So that's how I can connect to my G sheet. The next step is to tell the bot to read the value in B2. This is the total number of participants that want to join. And this is the number that I need to provide to the team. So I need to tell the bot to read the cell B2. If you look at the left, you can see that we have in the G sheet activities an activity that is called read cell. So this is the one that I'm going to use. I put it here in the middle and then the bot is already able to retrieve some information from the G sheet. As you can see, it finds automatically the name of my sheet and you can see that it's indeed form responses one. So that's the sheet where I'm, I'm going to, where I'm going to work on. Then I just need to change the cell. So I'm not going to read A1, I'm going to read B2. And I'm going to need this value later in my process. I will need to use it when I'm going to write the email. So I'm going to create what we call a variable. A variable gives you the possibility to store a value in your process and to use it later when you, when you are doing something else, for example, like working on Gmail. So I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it, for example, total number of participants. And this variable is going to store the value that the bot is going to read in B2, which is seven and I'm going to be able to use it later. So now my bot has read information I want on my G sheet. My next step is to send the email to the global learning team. So I'm just going to use a Gmail activity. And here on the left, as you can see, we already have an activity that is called send email. So this is the one that I'm going to use. In the send email activity, I need to provide some information about let's say traditional fields that you need to fill when you want to send an email. So the first one is, of course, to whom I want to send the email to. So I'm going to write here my email account, but it should be something more like um, global learning department. I need to indicate a subject. So here I'm going to write the subject of my email. It's going to be um, Studio X, training update, for example. And then I can write the body of my email as well. Here I'm going to write it as a free text. So I'm going to select the text option. And here I will be able to use my variable. For example, I can write up to date, I have the number of participants and the number of participants is going to be found in my variable. So I'm going to use it. It was called total number of participants. And then I can just write, find, just finish my sentence and write participants at the end. So here the bot is going to write up to date. I have seven. That's the current number 
that was read from the G sheet and then participants. And then I just finished my email with thanks and kind of regards. So now I'm, I'm already done, I can run my bot. As you can notice, I selected this option here to save the email as a draft. It basically means that the bot is not going to send the email directly, uh, it's going to keep it as a draft. So I can just review it and then if everything is okay, I just need to click on the send button. So the bot is running, it's going to go first on my G sheet, it's going to read the value of P2 and then it's going to prepare the email that I will be able to find in my draft. So if I go to my draft, I should be able to find the email that was prepared by the bot. And as you can see, it contains uh, the number seven, which is the number of participants that was on my G sheet. All right, I hope you enjoyed this uh, use case. Um, as you can see, it's very easy to work on a G sheet. And also what I wanted to show you is that if you work with the G form, there is probably something you can automate with the responses of it. All right, thanks a lot for your time. See you next time.